Hello, adventurers. Welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Let's get out of bed. I uh, got a few quests to hand in first thing this morning. Well, actually, just one. And that is one with Trudy. We got one of the backstages done, I do believe. Well, we'll check the commission board first thing. It looks like I'm not being drawn away first thing this morning. A few people always outside. I think they, they're looking for a play date, honestly, is what they're doing. Uh, what do we got here? Professional sandfish trap. Um... I mean, you just want an outstanding one? I already own one, but uh, I'm not going to give her mine. Although I don't really fish, honestly. Uh, is there anything here I want to do? Um, not really. Uh, Pablo, tea leaves. You know what? I got a whole bunch of them. And uh, what's her name? Mabel? Uh, Mabel, yeah, we'll give her some tea leaves as well. Because I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, we got some letters. Uh, Katori, what do you got to say? Airship, huh? Well, I could give you some golden goose tokens to help you out when you're on a break. Nah, that's a cop-out. Here, take a bonus from this month's Katori World Profits. None of that would have been possible without you. I thought I was kind of uh, an investor anyways. 2,000 ghouls? All right. Uh, Logan? Our own airship. I never thought I'd see the day. Here. Take these hides. They're the best I've got. Hard animal skin? Uh, me I and. thought my dream of running a shop was forever lost once I became a builder. But here we are. It's just like Ma said. Give your all every day so you can seize those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities when they come your way. So is your Botanica open? If I hadn't worked hard as a builder, I wouldn't have the money to invest in Nia's idea. And I wouldn't be a shop owner now. How are things on your end? The aerial multi-purpose spray is just about ready to go. Things are going well. So well, in fact, that I managed to snag these to help you out on your end. Here. Well, I, I haven't even gotten, like, the blueprints yet. Uh, Amira. Long time. No, no talky-talky. Hmm. So, they've commissioned you to make an airship. That would be a daunting task to most, but I believe their confidence is not misplaced. You've exceeded everything ever expected of you. Will this help at all? Um, I'm guessing it will. All right, uh, letter from Danby. Okay, uh, I suddenly felt like giving you this to you today. Cantaloupe. Okay, okay. Thank you, Danby. And we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of the letter, get rid of the evidence. Uh, from Director Chi, I hope you really like this. Oh, this is not the blueprint. I thought it was going to be the blueprint. How disappointing. Uh, but we did get a relic bag, I suppose. All right, let's grab all that stuff there. So, oh yeah, I do got three things to hand in. And there is a side quest today. Not really sure what that's going to be about. Oh, they're not wearing their starlight attire that we were, they were wearing last evening after the wonderful fashion show. Let's avoid the side quest over there just for a moment. Uh... I'm kind of forgetting who's going to be in here. I got to hand off a quest to. Uh, Hugo is here, yes, though. You're going to be needing bars on bars to get that airship off the ground, hmm? Well, here, take a few of mine. Take a bunch. I want to be able to say that I helped on what could be the biggest project our city ever works on. Don't talk you know? with your mouthful, Hugo. Other than changing the desert. The stuff they're giving me, I. Pretty much could have. Is it too late to throw my head into the ring? No, on just the go whole ahead. Airship thing? Just make sure there are plenty of places to sit up there that aren't too windy. Little things like that'll make a big difference. Well, anyhow, why don't you take this? Might help, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I don't know about the, the the resurrection herb satchel. Uh, I'm not. You know that that could help me out. Was there a reason why I came in here? I thought there was like a quest going on here. Maybe I'm collecting the things for the airship. Maybe that's it. I have no idea. So Trudy should be up here. Pablo should be right around the corner. Actually, he just went inside his business. So he is open before 8 o'clock. I've always said, make love, not war. Finally, they're kind of listening to me with this whole airship thing. Obviously, I have nothing of value to offer you on this endeavor. So here is a single plum, floating in perfume, 
served in a man's hat. You're welcome. Uh, okay. Uh, anyways, here's your tea leaves. Impressive. Thanks. And you also got something you want to say as well. It's like a dream come true. Ernest was right. I really just needed to put my mind to it. See ya. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight for your swimsuit edition, I think is what it is. Uh, Trudy. Uh, Trudy's right here. Ah, still hard at work on the airship, eh? Not really. <laughs> You've got this. Here's a little stimulus package from City Hall. Good luck. 5,000 ghouls. I don't think I really need that either. Uh, but here, oh, Summit Preparations. Uh, there's... Thank you. Yep, you're welcome, Trudy, like always. And I think you had something you want to say. I knew he could do it. Sandrock really needed this. Are we talking about Pablo? I'm going to assume we're, we're talking about Pablo. Uh, Nia? This airship is going to be a lean, mean, green and machine. We'll be able to water the whole city in just a few hours. I'm... I'm going to need a hobby with all that free time. Oh, here. Make sure you're eating right. There's still so much to do. Cantaloupe. Uh, Grace. You've already done enough, Grace. <laughs> so true. But guess what? I got you this anyway. The robot I smashed wasn't using it anymore. Copper Gears. Um, any chance I could take you... I still can't take you on a play date. Are you trying to avoid me, Grace? Honestly, I didn't think I would like them this much. Like like what? I, 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 I'm just going to assume we're talking I... about P Pablo's fashion show that he had last evening. So everyone's giving me stuff for the airship, but I did not get the blueprints for the airship, right? Did, did I happen to get that somewhere? Um, wait for diagrams until he's done. Yep. Uh, okay, that's the regular thing. And wait for opening day on the Botanica, which I thought when Mian came to see me this morning, she was referencing this, but I'm still waiting for opening day, apparently. Well, let's go see Mabel. All right, you know what? On the way down, we're kind of going by it anyways. Let's swing into the Blue Moon Saloon and speak to Owen. I assume that's what we're going in here for. Because Grace is up the road. Nope, Grace is here now. Is Owen trying out some dishes that she's made? Uh. I'm not sure what the heck that was, but it doesn't sound like he's enjoying it. Well, lay it on me, boss. Let me go in for a second bite. So, you did go with more ginger, huh? Right you are. My line of thinking, sandfish tend to be entirely too pungent. In order to balance out the fishiness of the fish, I thought I'd try to cover that particular profile with ginger. Not bad. Hey, you've got one thing down. You can talk the talk. However, there still remains the subject of walking the walk. Not quite there yet, huh? Well, problem is, boiling ginger in milk causes the milk to curdle. Huh? Does it really? I had no idea. Hey, don't worry. It's one of those things. The only way to know is to have it happen to you. It's just about experience. You've got the right mindset. Let's keep going. Oh, how's it going? It's going. Hey, come on in. I've gotten pretty decent at making stuff out of a recipe book. Now I'm trying to take things to the next level by thinking up dishes of my own. It's turning out to be as tough as putting a bullet through a bunker window at five leagues. Cooking is not your enemy, Grace. It's something you have to feel flowing through you. If you think of it as a foe to be conquered, you will only wrestle with it. Instead, let go. Let it take you by the hand and guide you. To dance a dance of 
flavor. Very cool and mystical, boss. But if I can't get it together, there's no reason for me to keep working with you, man. I don't need the money, and you don't need amateurs stinking up your kitchen, tarnishing your good name. Well, this just got serious all of a sudden. Let's just give it some time, all right? I can hardly imagine the blue moon without you, Grace. Uh, quit your yammering. I got something to talk about that's a million times better than whatever y'all are talking about. Who invited Cooper? I've come to share with you all my latest composition. It's a concept album that can only be performed as a single, uninterrupted ditty. Unless I had to start from the beginning, and you guessed it, it's real long. Ah, shoot, Coop. We were just in the middle of trying out some new items for our menu. Can it wait? No. Try a bite. No. It's free. Uh, now, why didn't you say so? Uh, right. Well, just go ahead. Dig in. Perhaps my new dishes had no effect on our master chef, but will resonate more brightly with the common man. See? It's good that I arrived before someone genuinely in need. You see, if you just give handouts to every Tom, Dick, and Jerry, uh, uh, they'll never learn the value of a hard-earned gold. Yes, because of my interception here, someone will be pulling themselves up by the bootstraps of fort. Is he going to love it, or...? <laughs> It's, it's so, it's so unfathomably. Unfathomably what? Uh, I'm going to wink, wink at Owen. All right, I'll wink at Owen. Ah, it seems our good friend Cooper is for once at a loss for words. Your dish has stunned him with its majesty. His mind has been sent to another plane, a realm where there is only deliciousness. You two are not exactly subtle, you know that? I recommend for your next attempt at espionage, you give a better signal than winking. Got your attention the first time, Grace. <laughs> Just, uh, never mind. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. It ain't like nothing I ever had before. I don't think we can print that review. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. I get it. I should just give up. You don't need to sugarcoat it. Uh, uh, this sugarcoat wouldn't make it any worse. Um. Grace, you're being too hard on yourself. I get that you're good at everything. This is just gonna take a little more elbow grease than you're used to. That's all. Uh, let's take a break. Whew, I'm parched. Can I drink this? I need it too. Oh, to wash down all the... <clears throat> Where are we going to go from here? Oh, my peach on a pogo stick. <laughs> Tis the nectar of the gods. <laughs> I want to bawl my eyes out. Intoxicating dream. A cocktail that will take you back to a special place in your memories. Oh, um, I just made up some frilly stuff to put on the label. It doesn't actually work. No, no, that's not the point. The point is, this drink is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Mama! Life had just begun. And now I've gone and thrown it all away. Yeah, um, <laughs> just some sandberries, raspberry juice, ice... Oh, and some mint leaves thrown in. Why did we get a course from Queen in there? I, I don't know why, but we did. Just that. No trick to it. Uh, I call to you, Mother, uh, on the day of memories. Why do you not answer? <laughs> why? <laughs> what counts as a trick? Hmm. Now that you mention it, 
Yeah, while I was making it, I couldn't find a spoon and... Back when I was in the service, I used to shake my grenades before throwing them at my enemies. You know, just a cute thing I like to do. So I put another cup over the top of the drink and shook it up for luck, I guess. Hmm, shaken, not stirred. Well, whatever you did, this is a smash hit. Best thing you've ever made. Maybe we should get you mixing up a few more of your ideas, huh? All right, let me have a sip. Try it. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. The cool beverage cascades down your throat, refreshing you. The flavors of assorted berries tingle across your tongue. And suddenly you recall a time when you were petting a kitten. Okay. And all your troubles seemed so distant. Well, I think I felt something change inside of me. Wait a sec, how does it do the memory thing? Uh, we're just going to stick with wow delicious. Ain't that the truth. So, everything I cook, kill it with fire. Every drink I mix, heaven in a glass? Well, this is only your first hit. Hopefully the first of many. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious. Do we look like we're faking it? You don't... So, if I may be so bold... Grace, why don't you take the next few days to mix and shake up some drinks for us? And, if they're all even half as good as this one, we could have ourselves a drinks menu. Set up a second counter over there, start calling it a cafe. Grace's Cafe? Grace's Mixology? Something like that. Incognito Infusions by Grace. Oh, squeeze the day. Come on, man. And... You don't need to do all that for me. Hey, just trying to do good business. <laughs> It'd be your thing, so we can do it however you want. We'd both come and try your drinks, right? It is nice, always having you two in my corner. All right, let's do it. I'll start mixing more drinks. Mabel! <laughs> I don't deserve you! <laughs> Cooper needs some alone time. <laughs> I, uh, guess we're not going to hear the new Kugo concept album today. Sadly, I'm going to their house next to drop off the uh, tea leaves. Uh, you don't know that. He could be back. Seeing that that's the case, think I might start my juice journey tomorrow. Thanks, you two, for the pep talk. Sounds good. Take it easy. Uh, Owen, you got something for the airship? Hey there. How about that airship, huh? You guys really are one of the best guilds in the world, then. Uh, <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to sound surprised. I, I knew you were good, just, uh... <laughs> here, a little thank you from the Blue Moon. The best we've got. On the house! Inventory full. Um, <laughs> what, what do I got in my inventory that I can get rid of? Uh, of course, I'd have to throw it on the ground. Didn't realize I had so much stuff. Uh, what is that? Throwing rock. Uh, it's been a while since I discarded something. How do you... Abandon. Confirm. So we got sandfish with secret sauce in my inventory now. Throwing rocks have been discarded. Don't need those anymore. So after all that, it's only 8.30 in the morning. Let, let me go back to the workshop and we'll drop off a lot of the stuff that's in my inventory before I go see Mabel. Yeah, I need to go sell some more things at RBOs. I got beds in my inventory I don't need because I do have a double bed now. Alright, there's all that stuff. Oh wait, what do I got left in my inventory now? Do I got I should have a, like 40 free spaces now, I hope. 131 out of 165. It just keeps piling up. Right, we'll grab that. It says fertilizer being made. Alright, let's go see Mabel. We'll drop off the tea leaves. Uh Elsie. How you what doing? What about the airship? 
Think I could take the critters for a ride? Uh, better not. I don't trust any of them to not have a conniption fit if it gets bumpy. Except maybe Captain. Anywho, don't think for a second I'm gonna let you do it all by yourself. Here, got you this to help out. Don't ask where. An engine. Okay. Mabel, you're actually outside. Howdy do, neighbor. <laughs> I think that was the first thing I said to you. Wow, hard to believe we've come so far, huh? Here's a little pick-me-up in case the job gets to be a bit too much. Of course, my greater contribution to this project will be convincing old Coop that that flying machine is nothing to worry about. I do have your tea leaves. And you also got something to say about the fashion show, I, I'm I think assuming. Elsie would look lovely in these. I think they're all talking about the fashion show. But See the way ya. the way we get the conversation seems a little bit Y'all are building uh, an airship? Yes, yeah, Cooper. When will they learn? Man was not meant to soar above the clouds. <sighs> Such hubris. Flight is a privilege. Offered only to those of the avian variety. Possibly dinosaurs, as I learned recently, but, um, heck, I guess we're overdue for a bit of blasphemy. <laughs> Here's a million goals. A million goals, yeah. Oop. <laughs> uh, left my wallet at home. Take this instead. Um, Cooper, we're, we're at your home. But you have yak mill milk in your pocket. That That must be... That must be curdling like uh, ginger would do if it was boiling together or something of that nature. So do I have to go around talking to like the whole town and maybe collect all this stuff before I get the blueprint from Director Chi? Well, even Unsure has stuff. Heard about the airship. Pretty cool. I have just the thing. Meet Remy, the Sunstone. He's a rare and capable rock who's seeking purpose in his life. To be part of something great. This may be a chance for him to fulfill his destiny. Oh, here's two more sunstones in case you lose him. So are they marked on the map or what is the dealio here? I've been to most of these people here. It might be just a random thing. Maybe I don't have to go around collecting all this stuff. Oh, we were kind of, uh, I think someone left a comment that once I find the constellations, they should be there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use stargazing. Yeah, I can't do that until until a after a certain time. Because I think I found now four of them, possibly. Well, I do have to kill time because I really have nothing else to do today until the fashion show, which is... Not until 7 o'clock in the evening, so that's like another 10 hours or so. Uh, let me come down here to the moisture farm. That's where Zeke and Nia are going to be. But I did talk to Nia, and I think she gave me stuff. So I don't think... Well, maybe Zeke will give me something if he's here. Danby might be here as well. Let's head on in. Oh, there's Zeke over there. Yep. Zeke Things and Danby. Things sorted on our end. Now it's up to you. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes to pull this off. Here, a little something to take the edge off after a long day in the mines. Perfume Apple. Here, this is from Riri and me. Oh, wait... I think Riri got you something. I'm just so used to getting gifts myself and saying it's from both of us. Well, don't worry about that. You just do your best on that airship. Nano material. I do see they got more help in here now. Growing all these crops. Alright, I don't think I need anything from their store. So I'm going to head on out. And I guess I'm just gonna keep running around town for the rest of the day and just uh, try to meet as many people as I can. 
and see if they got stuff to hand me. Like I said, I don't know if I got to collect all this stuff before I get the diagram. And it's just going to help me along if I needed this stuff. I, well, I'm assuming I might need this stuff to build the airship. So I won't have to create as much. I don't know. Don't have the diagram yet, so I could not tell. Um, Katori. Katori has nothing for us, apparently. Oh, what I, what I should do, actually, instead, because I've kind of forgotten about it, I don't think I've done it yet, is go down to Katori World and ride on the dune buggies. Which also, let me go up to RVOs as well. Let's we'll jaunt up here. I want to go to RVOs and sell as much stuff as I can. Clear up my inventory. I think I got a dune buggy in my inventory. It's not that I need the ghouls or anything. Hey, hey, Justice. And Rock's building the airship, huh? Used to be a hole in the ground. But quickly turn it into one of the most advanced cities in the Alliance. Will it be too much? Too fast for us? Well, only time will tell. Got you this in any case. Good luck. Aluna Moore. Oh, well, RVL's got something as well. Wow. They've caught you making an airship? That's incredible. Can I drive it? No. You know, at night, when they're not using it. Uh, well, put in a good word, will you? Here. I have something that'll help, I think. And good luck. Sea salt. Alright, uh, what should I be selling here? No, that's that's stuff that he's got. Uh, Alright, just looking around quickly. Planting kit level 3. Do I still need that? I have no idea. I got a lot of food dishes uh, coming my way. I'm going to keep those just in case I need that kind of stuff. But let's see here. We got herself a furniture chest. Uh, a single bed. Yep, we'll sell that. Another bed, we'll sell that. Um, intermediate work table. Uh, judge's card. I think we'll sell that. From missions. An order given to you by Alo that can be displayed in your home. It doesn't do, give me any stats or anything, what it does. A Glide Burger gift card. I, this stuff may be a value, I have no idea, but it doesn't give me any stats like... Uh, let's see, do I have something that'll show me, that'll give me stats? Yeah, so like my clothing is going to show that it gives me stats. Oh yeah, I got the earrings the other day. Uh, we'll sell that. I probably could give these out as gifts, but don't think we really need to. Rainbow Dinosaur Senior Boots. I don't think I'm going to use those at all. I don't know which ones I'm wearing. I, I hope I can't sell stuff I'm wearing. Because that would kind of suck. Uh, then a whole bunch of stuff here. And I think some of the stuff I could use. I think some of the stuff like copper bars are going to go to my inventory when I sort them out. Since I don't have any copper bars in the storage, they're not automatically going over. So I probably need to go through this list and put more stuff in storage. Pet management chip, I don't need... I mean, we've done that, so I don't need all those. Uh, a wooden barrel. Um, here, you can have that. Uh, high speed processor, nope, you don't get that. And everything else, I think I need... Uh, now, I've already done that with Grace, so I don't really need that, I don't think. Um, the engagement ring? Eh, soon, I think. Soon we will be there. Uh, how, what's my inventory? I didn't see what my inventory was at here. Well, I didn't sell that many things, but sold enough to get by for now. Uh, let's see. Where else do I need to go to talk to anyone? I don't think... I think we'll just, uh, chance it and see if I've done enough talking around. Also, I don't, I don't know if I need to. But hopefully the next day we'll get ourselves a blueprint. There's Burgess. 
He has nothing to say. Fang really doesn't have anything for us either. Alright, let's go to Katori World. And we will go ahead and ride on the dune buggy. I don't, like I said, I remember placing them down. And then someone mentioned I should have been uh, going on the dune buggy. I was like, oh yeah, I should be going on the dune buggy. And completely forgot about it for, I think, a handful of episodes at this point. Hopefully the Katori world is always open. I don't, I don't know if it's technically open or closed during certain hours. Wait, did that say administrator? Can I talk to the administrator? No, I cannot. No interactions with them whatsoever. I wonder if this will take away from the uh, sand sledding on the other side of town. Uh, okay, so I can't... I thought I saw the sign there, so I was thinking maybe I can go on a ride there, but maybe... Maybe it's not open yet? Tourist. Um, all right, so maybe I can't ride on these. Maybe I got to talk to the administrator. Nope, no interaction with him either. So it's either only open during certain hours. I have no idea, but I came down here and uh, it's a no-go. Let me just try to see. We'll go over to the roller coaster. Don't really need to ride the roller coaster, but we'll see if I can get, you know, have still have access to it. And if I do, then that means the park is open now, I would think. So is the roller coaster the only thing I can go on? Ride the roller coaster. Alright, so I mean... Yeah, I guess the roller coaster is about the only thing I can go on currently. Well, that's kind of interesting. Unless uh, you guys know more than I do currently. Maybe got to wait until certain hours to ride certain rides. But I mean, if the roller coaster is active, I would thought everything else would be as well. Well, I gave it a shot. Now, I was thinking about going back over to the dungeon and giving it a go. But since I really haven't... I may have gone up a level, which we're currently like 57 or so, somewhere around there. Um... Every time you go up a level, of course, your stats get a little bit better. But I don't think our stats are still good enough to go in there and take out uh, those enemies quick enough that we need to. Meryl, uh, you can... No, wrong button. Uh, you can go back to your stable. I appreciate it. And Magic Mirror, I'm actually going to give you... Because I know we got in our inventory the high-speed processor... You, you really like these things. <laughs> Plus 16. Now, the more relationship I get with the magic mirror, the cheaper it is to have them work for us over a certain amount of time. Well, I don't have anything to build. Uh, do I have anything else I think I want to be doing? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no quest items. And currently, the only thing I got going... I, I did a while ago... Uh, get some fertilizer on the go in the factory and we get it little by little every day depending on how much these guys uh you know dispense manure 
manure is made into fertilizer and our magic mirror picks it up and puts it away so now also rosie i, I keep on calling her rosie rosie was the robot from porsche uh but rosie should be taking care of the animals i think i don't know if it's taken 31 out of 42 uh tomatoes and mushrooms i think i need to put that in the helper box let's do that Tomatoes, 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 and mushrooms. Uh, there are the mushrooms. No, I don't want to... I forgot how to do... I forgot how to split stack. Uh, moved inventory, open functions. Split. There we go. Actually, what do I... You know, I, I, don't, I want a few mushrooms. 37 would be good. The reason why I want these in my inventory, because if I'm ever running around with Meryl and they need a little bit of uh, a food, I got some food with me. And tomatoes. Tomatoes may have gone in the inventory already. I may be missing them. Kind of like I missed the uh, the pigment in VV store last episode. Yes. All right, it's only fourteen hundred. I gotta wait till nineteen hundred, so another five hours before the fashion show begins. So I think I'm just gonna walk around town, let the time scroll on through, and I'll probably see you at the fashion show. I don't. I'm probably just gonna have little chit chats with people here and there if they have stuff for me. But I think we pretty much covered everyone, although. Riri, uh, Rianne, Ryan, however he wants to be called, he may have something for us. I don't know if he's going to be home or not. Nope, no one's home. So yeah, I'm just going to run around town, uh, see if anyone else has anything good to say. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at the fashion show. The swimsuit edition. Ho, ho, ho! I've heard. You better believe I've heard. Oh, yes. The airship. Train of the sky, some call it. <laughs> I've never been more proud to live in this town. Uh, here you are. I hope this helps. Hey, uh, me and Crystal heard about that six-star commission, so we had the boys go on a special tour down in the ruins. Grab some stuff we thought you could use. Here you go. Hey ya! Me and Rocky heard about that six star commission. So we had the boys go on a special tour down in the ruins. Grab some stuff we thought you could use. Here you go. Just a few more minutes before the fashion show begins, and I've been just uh, getting my exercise in, climbing on buildings. Uh, hopefully I got it in the video where I think it was Jensen, Rocky, and Crystal have given me some stuff. Uh, as for everyone else, I, did, I didn't really get anything from anyone else. I did talk to a few people, and they talked about Pablo's show, but nothing too exciting. So also a few people, like I talked to Jane, I was just kind of curious. I can't take her on a play date either, um, I think she was the one after Grace or whatever. So I think it's about a, uh, an in-game week before uh, you can take people on a date or some another date again. So it's 1900. If we jump down here, the fashion show should be beginning. Wow, it looks like we have even more shining faces than yesterday. Seems like Desert Teak has positively inspired our delightful townsfolk. Who knows how long until the whole of the free cities has the Desert Teak street? Today we will be showing the Summer Heat Swimwear Collection, the design inspired by our constant shining companion. Kind of odd that we're having a swimwear collection fashion show in Sand Rock, which we always try to conserve water. Now that our beloved town has solved the water crisis, <laughs> it seems that it is a better time than ever to relax and take some time off in the shining blue water. Swimsuits are no longer the reserve of the free city's elite. No. 
now the common folk can enjoy the sun and bathe. So let's welcome our models back onto the stage. And once again, I wasn't asked to participate. Owen works out. I guess they all do. Who came up with the tunes for this? Do we have, was it Cooper? We all go swimming in the oasis now? <laughs> is, that, is that a thing? Huh? Isn't someone missing? Yeah, I saw another piece on the flyer. Ah. Uh, yeah, it appears one of our models is. There they are! So why, why was, uh, why were they like? Thank you everyone for watching the Summer Heat Collection. Again, if you wish to buy them, you can talk to me for orders. Everyone is welcome. I can assure you we will tailor for your needs. Trust me, you won't regret it. Of course, we want to make everything according to taste. What is fashion without personality? Any changes can be requested and we're happy to oblige. We will have a complete design document available soon. Uh, what is Riri doing over here, other than spazzing out? It pains me to say that today is the final day of the Desert Teak Fashion Show. Thank you all for your support, and I hope you all become fans of our humble town. I have no words for how I feel. As I traveled, I always came back to Sandrock. I knew, buried somewhere deep in the sand, that there was a spark of creativity, that there was something here to bring us into a new, more fashionable future. But don't worry, I won't stop giving you all the most wonderful haircuts, but I shall be providing you with the newest in high fashion. Thank you for coming and showing me support, everyone. Oh, there's so many. Which should How about I choose? A little Civil Corps discount. Nope. Fine. I, I can too. think of nothing better than turning that junky old warship design into flowery oh, force the, for the good. Cool well, nope. maybe a bigger uh, temple. But, uh, on. Let's not get greedy. Get on. Good luck with the uh, airship. Here's something Temples to help with the job. You a, guessed it. Cool it's water. Too many people talking here. Logo. Now this is weird. I was trying. I, I, I passed Fang a while ago, and he had nothing to give me, but now he does. You're wearing a swimsuit. Oh, there's so many. Which should I choose? Really handsome it suits you. Thank you. I felt very uncomfortable. But everyone was so happy. Seeing everyone so happy, I don't feel as uncomfortable. I think it is okay. Sometimes the show was fun. Here, your task. I've heard this will help. If you get tired. Butt on. Get your butt on. He stroke Drive medicine. Butt on. Oh, there's so many. Ten goals a kilo. What should I choose? Um, Venti. Oh, have we talked since we broke up ages ago? I want to have you learn. started on the airship? I've never heard of such a massive project, but I believe you can do it amazingly well. You've always been the most awesome builder I've ever met. Even a ship like this couldn't stump you. Here, take these with you. They're all scrap materials I personally scavenged. It'd be great if they could help you out. Well, she seems to be doing better. Uh, Pablo, we've, we've talked. So, what do you think? Tempted? Yeah, they're so beautiful, I want to buy them. Logo. Thank you. I promise you won't be disappointed. 
dried buckthorn. I, I was going to say, do I have to and buy him now, Kano. or? I'm definitely going to buy a swimsuit. They're all so beautiful. I want to learn how to Can we swim in the oasis? That's, that's, that's the question now. I mean, I know if I jump in there, it's going to kick me back out. But we should, like, have a designated swimming area, I would think. Uh, there were a few more people I needed to talk to, I thought, but they all kind of run off in different directions. And I think I talked to enough. So I'm kind of hoping that tomorrow we'll have a diagram from Director Chi and we can get started on the airship. And the only current mission I think we got outstanding is the Botanica, which should be open soon as well. Let me just double check on the missions here. Uh, Botanica and the six stars, so wait for diagrams. I'm going to assume we can knock this out relatively easily. I think we got a good amount of uh, material inside our factory. Oh yeah, I did plant some more pomato plants uh, just to keep those going. So hopefully uh, we don't run out of potatoes again. Just kind of curious now. So it's not full. Do I have that on your work list to do? Maybe I got to Because I gave you a new chip. I don't know if that's on your list. Show helper reminders. Assign. Uh, feed mounts. Did that go over here to assign? Now, I could have them harvest the crops. Party catering, pet animals. Uh, yeah, let's assign pet animals as well. Because, well, I don't pet them, so I assume they're gonna, he's going to pet these animals. And now you should feed these animals as well. So it'll take a while for Rosie, I keep calling him Rosie, uh, the magic mirror to go ahead and take care of that. But another day has come and gone. So now we just got to wait for the stuff to come in for the airship. Or the diagram anyways. We'll build that. And the Botanica. And other than that, uh, getting some relations up with some more people. So when me and Grace finally do get married. Or engaged. I, I, I think I've been told that when I engaged. If I read the comment right. That we the wedding is already kind of going to take place. But I can kind of schedule it. Um, I still want to wait a little bit more on that. Uh, I thought Grace, when we were talking to her, she said she would take us on a date and tell us her real name. Uh, unless I misremembered that as well, but who knows. Uh, Grace right now is too busy making drinks for Owen and everyone else, I assume. But anyways, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you again right here at my time at Sandrock. But until then, have a good one.